just Ruby and today I am starting my week one vlog of the 14 books tag. So this is a tag that my friend Beth and I came up with and I shared it on my channel last week. Basically the idea is that you read 14 books in 14 days, so a book a day. And I'm on day one at the moment, it's the afternoon and I am currently halfway through this book, History of the Rain by Niall Williams. I'm absolutely loving this book so far. There are reviews on the back of the book, as always, from notable publications and things, and this summarizes it pretty much. A love letter to literature and storytelling, funny and painful and a linguistic delight. What's so amazing about this book is that the narrator is so well read, she's 19, and she is basically reading every book in her father's library, and they are like classics. She's reading all of the classics, these incredible books, and she just perfectly integrates these quotations and these feelings into her own storytelling and into what she's saying. So instead of using metaphors, she quotes directly from other books, which she thinks summarizes it perfectly. And that's a really interesting point. It reminds me actually of, so I did this debate chamber course, where that was two summers ago, and uh, we looked into, oh my gosh, what's his name? Oh, this is so bad. He's like the most famous modern literary critic. I think it's Harold. I'll find it and I'll put it on the screen. Basically, one thing that he writes about is that everything in literature has pretty much already been done. All of the core emotions in literature have already been captured by somebody. So like inspiration in literature is actually really, really central. Whenever you talk about jealousy, for example, you might be referring back to Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale. For example and so um, that's quite an interesting idea that you actually kind of see in this book it's like these emotions these human emotions have already been articulated for the first time in a different piece of literature so you can refer to that but equally i am quite critical of this idea because i think people can hone an emotion and how we understand emotion on our, and articulate it in a slightly different way which allows us to understand it more deeply oh my gosh what is his name i feel so embarrassed i can't remember it so i'm going to sit down on the sofa in the snug this is my favorite room Okay, so I've just read 70 pages of this book and I love it, oh my goodness. This actually was long listed for the Man Booker Prize in 2014. The Man Booker is the only award that when I'm choosing a book, I will keep in mind. I, I really need to look at the qualifiers for a Man Booker because every single Man Booker I've read, I have just absolutely loved and that's not the case with any other award. Um, so when I've read books, which have been nominated for other awards. It won't necessarily mean that I like the book, but with the Man Booker, I don't know what it is about it. I just love Man Bookers. So I'm page 213 and I'm going to read up to 250 and then I'm going to go outside and go on a walk in the rain and read History of the Rain in the rain. The more I read of the bit, this book, I genuinely think it's one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. Okay, hello and welcome to day two of the 14 books challenge. So I'm making good headway. I finished 
History of the Rain yesterday and I absolutely loved it. It was an ode to English literature. I really loved the idea that you could find someone you love through the books that they read and that people are made up of the things that they read. I'm currently reading Now Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sep Sepatice. I have really been wanting to read this book because it did win the Carnegie. So I read in bed this morning. I'm currently on page 60, I think. And today I am heading up to Hackney to film for a round table discussion, which is really exciting. It's basically taking people of lots of different faith and cultural backgrounds and engaging in like a dialogue, a conversation about issues which affect young people. Okay, off to Hackney now and I'm going to read in the car because my dad's gonna drive me up to um up actually instead of getting the train, which is amazing. Okay, we're heading off now. Just waiting for dad. We had an Indian takeaway last night, so we've got the remnants here to eat and snack on in the car. And also, of course, literally, these are my favorite things. I love the veggie calling the caterpillars, the sour ones. Hello and welcome to day three of the 14 books challenge. So I really didn't check in at all yesterday and I'm very, very sorry. I was filming until quite late and didn't get back until nine, but I, and I didn't actually finish Salt to the Sea. I finished that this morning though. I read 200 pages yesterday, read the last 200 today. It documented an incident, a huge tragedy from the war, which I didn't, I wasn't even aware of, um, which is so bad. And now I'm on to my third book for day three, which is, a good girl's guide to murder and that this is really good so far i'm 10 percent of the way through i'm spending the day in my cottage which is so exciting nearly midnight on day three of the 14 books challenge and I'm currently 60% through my third book. Literally I've been reading it for like six solid hours. I haven't read a book this good, a YA book this good for such a long time. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. It's only been out for just over a month as well. Uh, so it's really new and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, so 60% through that. It is, it is quite long. It is taking me quite a long time to read, but I'm loving every second of it and I don't want to rush it. So I think I might tomorrow read a slightly shorter book. So I've got Vote for Effie, which I don't think will take very long and Breakfast at Tiffany's. Both of them are quite, are quite short. Um, so I think I could probably finish this book and then read that one tomorrow. Hello and welcome to day four of the 14 books reading challenge. So um, this morning I woke up and read in bed. It's now 10 past 10 so I'm still in my pyjamas at 10 past 10 because I've been reading. I'm now at 88% of um, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and it's so good. Honestly it's the best YA book I've read in ages, like literally in forever. It's so gripping, so clever, so clever and it's a debut novel as well. Honestly I recommend this so so, so much and I'm in love with the character. So I finished um, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder maybe about half an hour ago and it was amazing. So many twists and turns. All I've got to say is you have to read it. Um, if there's one book I'm going to recommend to you I think during this challenge it's going to be this book. Oh, I'm really annoyed at myself because I keep on finishing half a book in between. So I'm currently reading Vote for Effie by Laura Wood which is a bit young for me I know but I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time and I'm loving it. I haven't been reading it for very long. I just got up to page 100. I think I might read another 50 pages of this before I go to sleep. It's already 10.30. Then in the morning, I'll finish off this book and get started on the next one. And I think I'm gonna read Breakfast at Tiffany's next. Okay, hello and welcome to the fifth day of the 14 books challenge. So, so far I have read History of Rain, Salt to the Sea, 
Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I've only read three and I'm nearly finished with number four. Vote for Effie by Laura Wood. I am on page 236, so I don't have very long left. I read a lot of it this morning. I've only got um, like 40 to 50 pages left. I will put aside some time a little bit later to do that. Um, but I've actually got quite a lot of stuff that I need to get done. I'm, I'm just staying at home today, but I've got lots of things that I need to get done, like lots of admin tasks, but I will update you when I get on to reading this and then when I start breakfast at Tiffany's. just finished book four which is vote for Effie by Laura Wood this is really good it was very easy as in it wasn't like it wasn't challenging but I really like the character it's all about you know female empowerment or for girls instead of women really and um, like how we can make a difference in school it's just a really great message for kids like I definitely recommend that as a middle grade book books day five is over now and I will see you for day six I finished breakfast at Tiffany's yesterday and I am a little bit behind. I need to finish The English Patient today, but I'm not going to do that. So hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow. I'm only 25% through, um, but I'm really enjoying it. And um, I can't believe I haven't read it before. I've started it way too many times, but I've never actually sat through and got through the whole thing. So 25% done with that. I'm kind of behind on this challenge, but I might read a few quicker books to get myself back on track. 